Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, let's have a look at this change the base one. So again, solve for log to the base x of 2 minus log to the base 2 of x minus 3 equals 0, okay? So why do I call it a change the base? Well, when I'm looking at the base numbers, can you see that they're different, okay? Excuse me, and for as long as they are different, we can't you really use the, the rules of logs, okay? So what you have to do is you have to change the base number of one of them so that they match. Okay, it does it matter which one you change the base of? No, not at all. Okay, so I'm going to take this one first and I'm, I'm going to do it both ways. I have the, the sum written here again. I'm going to do it both ways so that you um, see that it makes no difference. So I want to change him. So change to base two. So I'm changing that to, to be a log to the base two. Okay, and um, so I'm using this rule over here. So I write down the one I need to change. So I need to change log to the base X of two. Okay, so to map that to the letters, my B is my X. This X here for me is two. And A up here is my new base. Okay, so he becomes, and I'm just subbing into this formula here, okay? So he becomes log to the base A of X. I'm just following these. There's my two and my two over log of A two of X. Log to the base two of two and the base number and what you're getting of the log of matches, you get one. So it's over log to the base two of X. Okay, so I'm going to sub that back into this equation so that I have four. So now watch, I write this with base two. That's what I wanted to do. So four times one over log to the base two of X minus log to the base two of X minus three equals zero. Okay. Hard to solve this as is because there's no rule if you check the, the log tables for one over log of something. Okay, so the easiest way to do it is to let y um, stand in for log to the base two of x. Okay, so then rewrite this one as four by one over y minus y minus three equals zero. Okay. There's a fraction here, so the easiest thing to do is to multiply across by y. Okay, I'll just get rid of that multiply sign in case you get confused. So multiply across by y. So multiply by y, by y, by y, by y. Okay, and that y and that y cancels. So this just becomes four ones are four minus y squared minus three y equals zero. And I'm just going to write that with, with positive numbers then in the order ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So what I did from here to here was change the order and change the sign. Okay, so let's solve him. y and y factors of four that gives me three are four and one. Um, it's a minus four, so I'm going to have plus and a minus equals to zero. Okay, so I'm getting y equals minus four, y is equal to plus one. Okay, now normally when I'm a, dealing with logs, I get a little bit nervous of minus numbers, okay? But they're okay when the y's are minus numbers, it's when you're getting the log of a negative number that it, it doesn't make sense, okay? Am I finished here? No, because when you were asked to solve this equation, you were told to solve it for x. X was the variable that was in your sum, okay? We introduced Y here as a temporary measure to help us solve this log question, okay? So now we must, I suppose, remove Y from our equation and solve for X, okay? But Y 
was equal to log to the base two of x, okay? So therefore, we can now say that log to the base two is equal to minus four, which was our y, and log to the base two of x is also equal to one, which was our other y. So log to the base four, log to the base two of x is equal to minus four, and log to the base two of x is equal to one. Okay, so I'm gonna use this rule like, like I normally do to cancel the log and be left with just the x. I match the base and raise everything to that base. My base is two. So if I raise everything to the base two, so what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. What you'll find is log to the base two and two cancels, and you're left with just x being equal to two to the minus four, which you can put into the calculator and it's one over two to the power of four, or it's one over 16. You do the same to this side. I'm gonna raise everything to the base two again. I got that base number from here, so I'm matching my bases to it. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. So x is equal to two to the power of one here, x is equal to two. Okay, so that's when you change log to the base x to a base two. And it's probably the easier way to go, but I want to show you that you can also change this one to base x, okay? I can do that one. I can make this one match this one, okay? So just like before, I'm changing log to the base two of x. Let's get the rule, let's map. Okay, my b is my base number and x is x, okay? So b is my base number and little x is equal to x and a is my new base number, it's what I want to change it to. Okay, so let's change it here. I've logged to the base a of x, so log to the base x of x is what I have with my figures over on the bottom, log to the base a of b. So log to the base a of b. Log to the base x of x is one over log to the base x of two. Okay, so let's sub it in. I have four log to the base x of 2 uh, minus 1 over log to the base x of 2 minus 3 equals 0. Let's use y to be log to the base x of 2. So I'm left with 4y minus 1 over y minus 3 is 0. I'm going to multiply across by y. So I get rid of that fraction. So I have 4y squared minus 1 minus 3y is equal to 0. Let's write it in the correct order of a quadratic. So 4y squared minus 3y minus 1 is equal to 0. Let's solve it. So I have 4y and y, the factors of 1, and I need minus 3y, so the minus goes there and the plus goes there. So 4y is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus a quarter, and in this one, y is equal to one, okay? So sub back into y is equal to log to the base x of two, okay? And what do we get? Okay, well, I get log to the base x of two is equal to minus a quarter, and I get log to the base x of two being equal to one. So just like before, I'm going to raise everything to the base number. So x log x2 is equal to log minus a quarter. So I get 2 being equal to x to the power of minus a quarter. Okay, remember what I want to do with him. This is the tricky one now. I need him to be x to the power of 1 because that's what x is. You solve for x, that's x to the power of 1. So what must I multiply that power by to make them one? Well, I must multiply them by a minus four, okay? And if I'm multiplying that side by minus four in the power, I have to do the same to the left. So I get two to the minus four is equal to x to the power of one. 
okay? And two to the minus four, just like we had here, is going to give me that x being equal to one over 16. Okay, now let's do the same to this side and solve this one. So everything gets raised up by x. Log x and x cancels. x is two is equal to x to the power of one or x is equal to two, okay? So it's, it's a tad easier when you change base x to be a number, I suppose, so, or that's definitely the pattern that we're seeing. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.